wow, it's actually, I'm standing outside on the balcony and it's um, a little bit windy and it's starting to drip. And I can't tell you how grateful I am that it's actually starting to rain in Poland because it's um, relatively dry in Poland at the moment. And I think the only thing we need now is also a drought. Still, I think it's going to be quite a dry summer here in uh, Poland. But as I'm talking to you, it's definitely starting to rain. Super grateful for that. But now, guess what time it is? It's coffee time, but it's also weekend time. And in fact, it's long weekend because it's Labor Day, it's May Day. And uh, everybody seems to be heading out to their little breakaway spots. Except for me. My name is Van der Puchert and this is Finding Frequency. So as we head into the weekend, I can get back to a little bit of a normal update. I leave my voice notes from my dear friends for the week, week time updates when I'm in work mode and there's a bit more time to spend on producing these things. And I have a few things I want to reflect on from the past week. Um, once again, I've been blown away by the generosity of my friends to share their notes and their insights. And each and every one of them have a different perspective. Even though I give all of them the same brief, they share. The other thing that's also kind of go, is an interesting observation is that I do ask uh, quite a lot of people to share. There's there's so many people who've had an impact on my life. I, and I, I am asking people to share their experiences within this lockdown, lockdown experience of ours as a more kind of introspective thing. But also my benchmark is, is this is someone that I've had some interaction with or someone who's been part of my life. So um, many of those who I've asked though, um, have not yet sent me stuff. They might still, but I think the bulk of those who haven't responded to the call either feel uncomfortable to speak because I think it is quite intimidating to share, but then a lot of people might go, Look, where is my voice going? What's this dodgy guy going to do with my voice? And it's just interesting to see people's response. I think one of the big things, and this is something that I've spoken to uh, a friend about um, is that when someone asks you to do something like this and your intention is there, probably the best thing to do is to do it immediately. And a lot of my friends have done that because if you put it off and, and if you observe this and you, you're asking for similar things, and I'm rambling now, but when you, when you postpone doing something in my case, lots of times I've been guilty of this lots of times, it just gets put on a list and never really gets done. I mean, it reminds me of a folder on my desktop of my laptop where I think it's called read. I have to go back. So when I see a good article, I feel good by putting it in the read folder. And then I never read the damn thing. Probably six to 12 months later, I'll go like, what the hell is this crap doing here? I need to get rid of it. And then I spring clean the hell out of it and then it goes. And I think this happens with a lot of tasks that we set ourselves to do is that if you don't do it immediately or schedule it to get done, and ain't going to get done. So that is interesting. And, and this is not a finger point to dear friends who have not submitted anything. It's just, I think, a human nature thing and probably an interesting observation of doing things if you want to get stuff done. Just rather get it done or schedule it to get done. I've started, actually, if I think I have to do something and I know that I'm going to be lazying out like I do, I actually put it in my calendar. I set it as a meeting. I set the time apart on my calendar to actually do the thing and then it gets done. So that is the one observation. The other thing is also um, I've been grateful for people sharing because even in this last week, my context, context hasn't changed a lot. There's not many things to tell. Um, specifically for my wife and I this week, it's been really head down, sitting behind the laptop, working our asses off. But in the world, the virtual world of doing things, it remains interesting. Um, I'm still very grateful for 
one of the major clients that I have left. I'm working on a new project that's going to be a bit slow. I've been really not doing the work I should be doing on this new project, but I hope to catch up on that. And then I've been doing some content with my YouTube videos that I want to grow, but I don't know. The last couple of days I've, I've felt less inspired and especially with this podcast project, thanks to some inspirational words from my friends, I've managed to keep the momentum going with that. But I have to get my head straight around doing more work next week specifically. Um, but things are looking good, especially on the work front, because it seems that I'm still going to be busy beyond June, because June has been kind of a cut of date for a lot of my business and at least one client is, seems to be continuing business with me beyond June. And then it looks like Poland is also going to give small business some relief, as they are doing all across the world. But I understand that some of these reliefs that are being uh, dispensed is more relief for big banks and big companies than for the small guy, even though politicians would like to create the impression that it's not... Um, but, you know, um, these big companies probably also need their relief, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, not going to get political. And then also a funny story, a funny, funny story. Um, well, maybe not that funny. But the one thing that's kind of happening now is that my, my wife has gone off to the countryside um, well-deserved little breakaway and also especially with the three-year-old it's just better for him to get out of the house he's losing his mind and we are not always being the best of parents um, you know like in the sense of attention because we, we both work and, and you know we feel guilty that he's not getting enough stimulation so to get him out of the out of the house out of the little apartment that we live in is a good thing so he is now Jamming away in the countryside, um, daddy stayed home because I have some work to do. Because for me, the first part of the week has really been looking after him while Marta focused on workshops. And now I can spend some time to catch up on the work that I have to do, which I'm grateful for. But it's not ideal with when it comes to spending time with your family. Ooh, something good's happening over here. Something good is happening. Sizzle away. Can you hear that? Mm, mm, mm. I think it's my third cup of coffee already for today. <sighs> mm, here it comes. It's funny, when it's too hot, I don't... It's, it smells really harsh, but when it cools down a little bit, it starts become, becoming drinkable. Mm, mm, so good. So, I'm um, talking about funny things. So, my Polish... Friends, family, and I, unfortunately, I have to come clean. I think many a Polish citizen has gone off to the countryside to make use of this long weekend because I got a phone call from my wife while she was traveling, and she said to me, like, the roads were relatively busy. So I don't know if this uh, self-isolation is going to make it through this long weekend. We'll have to see what the impact is after that. Um, we're expecting some... some uh, some uh, updates to the, I'm losing my words here, to the restrictions next week from the Polish government. That would be interesting. Um, but also the Polish government at the moment is so focused on uh, sorting out elections. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, even when it comes down to testing. So, yeah, and unfortunately, I think uh, the shadow of this pandemic is going to be hanging over Poland for a little bit longer because I want to see what's going to happen beyond some of these long weekends and especially when they start lifting restrictions. I'm a little bit worried that people are, are still a bit lax about the real impact of this virus. Um, but we, we'll have to see. Let me not get negative. Um, what is the funny story? Well, people that we know or mutual friends uh, of my sister-in-law um, also went to the, in air quotes, countryside, which is more to the north, to go and stay in their mother-in-law's house. So, so uh, the couple went to stay there. We know them. They, they're friends of ours. And apparently they tried to light a romantic fire 
in the fireplace and uh, neglected to check if the chimney was sorted out and the whole damn house caught fire. Now they safe and uh, the damage seems quite extensive. And, uh, you know, how do you cause a fire when you're supposed to be isolating the pandemic? I, I don't know. But so this happened and I'm just super happy they safe. But then I started thinking like, imagine you have to go and explain to your future mother-in-law that you half burned down her holiday home. That can't be a good spot to be in. So uh, I'm going to leave it there because the other thing also, and you probably noticed me doing this over the weekends, I'm going back to, or I return to my roots of just a few personal updates, even though it might not be, even though if it's only me going to the damn parcel locker or just to take a walk around the block, it's uh, just for me to take a little bit of a break because the the thing that I didn't expect is because I'm trying to produce, and this is a muscle I want to flex because I want to produce the um, audio clips that my friends have sent me. I want to produce them in a little bit of a better quality, and uh, I really do appreciate the the notes that I've received. So I'm spending a fair amount of time trying to find the right music to to to, to kind of blend what I'm saying with what they're saying and just to make something that I think is cool to create. And I, that act of creating something is, um, it's been really, um, I've been loving it, but it does take up a lot of my time. And I think over the weekends when I have a little bit of a break, just to recharge a little bit and catch up on other things, uh, just helps me keep momentum because at the moment I think this is now going to be show 122. I can't believe I've done 122 of these crazy things. Um, and I'm not even halfway yet. 366 is the aim and I'm sitting in 122. So let's see um, how the next pan out. But I can say this, I've got a few nice ones, nice voice notes lined up already on my drive that I'm really excited about um, because I'm excited to share some of my cool friends with you. So hang in there and um, I hope you find some of this inspiring. And then, yeah, go and enjoy the weekend. It's time. And as always, don't forget to uh, enjoy a good cup of coffee. Thanks for listening. <laughs>